the dual personality of zodiac signs. In today's video, we're going to discuss the lower and higher vibrations of the zodiac signs. Each zodiac sign has a dual personality, its lower and its higher form. When we get stuck in negative emotions and feelings, we tend to exhibit the lower vibration of our sun sign. But when we're in peace with ourselves and work on our strengths and fortify our higher selves, then we embody the higher form of our sun sign. Find out about the dual personality of zodiac signs in today's video and see which one you are currently. Aries Aries can be petty and sore losers when they're stuck in their lower self vibration. This sign is ruled by feisty Mars, and when they don't get their way, they can exhibit some very childish and spoiled behaviors. This sign tends to brood and pout, and actually shout when they don't get things their way. They can also feel like handfuls when being in a relationship with them if they're stuck on their lower vibration. When they embody their higher self, Aries are great leaders. They're brave and confident and show kindness to those who are weaker or defenseless. In their higher form, Aries are the example of a knight in shining armor who arrives just in the nick of time to save a damsel in distress. Taurus In their lower form, Taurians can be very stubborn and set in their ways, so much so that they seem unmoving. There's no arguing with them, and they can be very cold and harsh when they're like this. Taurus can also be very selfish and egotistical when they fall under the spell of low vibration energy, like fear of a lack of money, jealousy, or possessiveness. They also have a nasty tendency to treat their loved ones like their property. When they embody the form of a higher vibrational self, Taurians are very generous with gifts and their attention. They can give with both hands and expect nothing in return, as well as cook delicious food and share it with all who come to their quite luxurious abode. Gemini Geminis tend to be real loudmouths and sailor types of individuals when they're stuck in their lower self. They have a nasty tendency to gossip and spread lies about those who they perceive as a thorn in their hypocritical side. They also have a strong affinity towards lying and not being able to be straight and honest with their loved ones, especially with their partners. They also tend to have a lot of affairs and cheat on their partner. When they embody their higher self, Geminis are very patient and quick-minded people who use their power for multitasking for the good of all. There are also great guides and teachers who carefully and mindfully distribute information and their knowledge to their peers and subordinates. Cancer Cancers are the very stuck-in-their-feelings type of natives. And since they're ruled by the fastest celestial body, the moon, they tend to change their hearts and their minds faster than you can say cheese. At their worst, they tend to gaslight, manipulate, and use your empathy to lure you into doing and acting as they want you to. They're also very passive-aggressive and can use emotional blackmail to its harshest extent. When they're vibrating on a high level, cancers are the archetype of an empath, nurturer, and caretaker. They're ready to sacrifice both their time and energy for others and have the power to heal. Cancers are the mother types of the zodiac, and they're able to take care of everyone who comes to their home or under their wing as a mother would. Leo When Leo is on a low vibrational frequency, they tend to be worse than a spoiled child. They exhibit egotistical and despotic traits. They throw tantrums and make dramatic scenes in public for all to see. As a fixed modality, they can be very difficult to reason with, and there's no winning with them, even when you do what they want you to. They're extremely difficult people. When Leo is on a high vibrational path, they are the jesters of the zodiac. They bring sunshine, joy, and laughter wherever they go, and they're the most generous people of the Zodiac. They're the archetype of the king who shares his gold with his subjects with both hands. Virgo When Virgo is stuck in the low vibrational side of the spectrum, these natives can find hair in the egg. They have a need to nitpick, to find a wrong in every right, and to correct others even for the most insignificant mistakes. Virgo can be a real pain in the butt when they're in their lower self. Their mouths can say the meanest things and they can look you in the eye while they're breaking your heart. When Virgo embodies the traits of a higher self, then they're able to help others beyond reason, and they're able to serve others without ever expecting anything in return. These natives are born fixers, and there's nothing or no one who they cannot fix or help, and they find joy in seeing others succeed. Libra 
Libra is the only object of the entire zodiac, and when they embody the lower vibrational traits, they can be prone to lying, cheating, and breaking hearts. These natives are very complex, and thus very difficult to figure out. They're like a mirror. They mirror everyone and create personalities tailored for each of their lovers and friends. When they embody the higher self, Librans are capable of dealing with justice and partaking in diplomatic core. Libra is great for making peace and seeing both sides of the story objectively, which makes them fantastic mediators and calm romantic partners. Scorpio Scorpio has the most trouble reaching its higher self, thanks to its ruler, Pluto. These natives are very obsessive and possessive when it comes to their loved ones, and they can do horrible things behind their backs under the trope of, I'm looking out for you. These natives are expert detectives and surveillance types, which, at their worst, can make them stalkers and predators. At their best, Scorpios are guides for the metaphysical and tantric elevation and transcendence. They have the power to transform the dark into light and transmute trauma into healing. Truly powerful beings of light when they're at their highest form. Sagittarius Sagittarius is very dual in nature, half horse, half human. When they exhibit their horse side, they're very reckless vagabonds, afraid of ties and heartbreakers. They're unable to be serious or to perceive anything as serious. They run away from their problems and their loved ones, and they tend to gamble and spend money in heaps. When they embody their higher human self, Sagittarius are able to be the best teachers whose wisdom and experience make for the best beacons of light in other people's lives. They have the power to make others laugh, inspire hope, and hold space for those who need to heal and recover from hard and traumatic events in their lives. Capricorn Capricorns can be very money and goal-oriented in their lowest self. They're the type of natives who will march over the dead in order to achieve their goals and get their money. They're also emotionally detached and manipulative. If they see an opening, they will use it and won't even be sorry for it. When they embrace their higher self, Capricorns are capable of leading others to great victories and gains. They are capable of inspiring, enduring, and disciplining. They know how to shape others into their best selves, and they do so without expecting anything in return. Aquarius Aquarius can be very egotistical and emotionally detached in their lower form. They have a tendency to manipulate, use, and dispose of others in a heartbeat. Aquarius really are the coldest natives of the Zodiac, and through the power of their high intelligence, they can move other people like chess pieces and never feel a second of doubt or remorse. When they're their higher self, Aquarius are major empaths and philanthropists. They use their intelligence and acquired wealth to help others and bring resolutions to those in need. They're great philosophers and futuristic thinkers of our time who have the capacity to change the world for the better. Pisces Pisces, in their lower self, are sneaky and compulsive individuals. They'll cheat, lie, and even kill without remorse. They always want what's best for themselves, and they'll have no moral compass in getting exactly what they want. They don't care about others, and they're powerful heartbreakers. In their highest form, Pisces are the embodiment of Jesus. They're full of empathy and always ready to sacrifice themselves for others. They are the embodiment of the higher good and they serve in the best interest of others without even thinking about themselves. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe for all the updates.